Okay Google Which is the largest electronics market in the world China lies the world's greatest electronics market named Huachang Bay Inside this Chinese electronics market, we literally get almost every electronics parts. So my question is, if I buy all necessary stuffs, can I make my own tablet computer? I have a dream to build a completely bezel-less tablet computer that can be used both as a tablet and a computer and the change can take place within few seconds. At first I have listed all the parts that I need to build the tablet and started shopping. I have bought micro USB connector, camera, speakers, headphone jack, battery, logic board, some SMD components and display. I searched the whole market for the display but the nearest that I have got is this one. It is bezel-less on two sides but the other sides due to connection wire has a bit of thickness. Due to all the ports, there is some extra thickness on a side. So I have removed the cables and detached the display. Mark the necessary areas and cut it. Then remove the ports. And the display got reduced from 14.5 mm to 5 mm. Then I also did the same for Raspberry Pi, which is the CPU for our system. Now its size reduces from 16 mm to 2.8 mm. Then I took 0.1 mm enamel copper wire and started soldering for HDMI connection. Though the wire is very thin, it was a bit difficult work for me. But somehow I managed to solder all required connections. And yet, it was a failed attempt, at least for me. So I went to the market again and grabbed those flat ribbon connectors. Then I had removed all previously soldered wires and added the new connector. Now it works like a charm but need a good power supply to power the system as well as to charge the internal battery. One more thing we really need is an audio amplifier which is missing here. So I have designed a circuit which contains dual power bank system and a good audio amplifier. Then I converted the circuit into PCB. And right now as I am in Shenzhen, so I directly visited the PCB way which is one of the most popular PCB manufacturer in China. They are very professional in this field. If you are interested to see full PCB making process, I have made a dedicated video on that, the link of which you can find in the video description. 
Next day I got my custom PCB and it's time to solder those tiny components onto the PCB. But I am quite lazy to do that, so I use their assembly service. After that, I took a 5000 mAh battery and soldered it into the PCB and do the same for speakers. Then soldered the audio and power wire with Raspberry Pi. Now the necessary circuit is completed. It's time to modify the system and add few more things. I have added a 5 megapixel camera, 3.5 mm audio connector for using headphone, and finally screen on slash off switch. The circuit is now done. Then I have designed an enclosure in Fusion 360 and printed it. After few unsuccessful attempts, finally we have got our desired structure. I actually have designed in two colors. The orange color looks gorgeous, but the wood color looks natural and it looks more sturdy and a hard worked piece. Now it's time to fit the electronics inside the case. For the heat sink, I took a piece of aluminium sheet and cut it in the required shape. Then I added thermal paste onto the ICs and placed the heat sink. Finally, my tablet computer is finished. Now the most interesting thing is, in this device we can use Android, Ubuntu, Raspbian, Windows 10 IoT and many other operating systems. We only need to install the OS into the SD card and plug the SD card into the tablet. That's it. For the Android I am using Amteria OS, which is quite good. There is a free version of the OS. You can find the link in the description. I know, you might be thinking, what can we do with this tablet computer, right? Using Android OS, we can do all stuffs that we can do in any Android devices, like browsing, watching video, taking pictures, and almost everything. Ubuntu or Raspbian can be used for general purposes as well as educational and programming purposes. It has Python, Scratch, Sonic Pi, Java and more. Not only I made one, I actually made two of this. One for my Patreon supporters and another one for my YouTube followers. To participate in the giveaway, you only need to leave a comment and share this video with your friends. Winner's name will be declared on the community tab. If you like the video and want to see more, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye.